Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for some more heavy rain. Alright, let's get this starting by hitting the O. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Right off hey, man, the bat. Okay, I don't. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Oh. Damn it. Got him. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. We got him. Man, right off the bat. Bam, bam, boom. Well, that was a short video.
<laughs> he puts it back empty. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Hmm. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Hey, I wonder if we can give this guy a bath. <laughs> Take a pee pee. Oh, he's so happy. I wonder if we can. Oh, you better flush. What is that? That's my thing. Is there nothing else I can do in here? Oh. Come on, fat man. Fat man. Fucking dumb fat man. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Yeah, sure. Can I come in? Sure. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. She wants water. Here's your water. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Huh. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? Uh... There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. <sighs> Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. 
I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Oh, the party, I forgot. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. another time are we gonna be here long this place gives me the creeps I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer you stay here till I come back okay okay just let me know if you need me hmm. not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas booze babes and coke Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal Come here often? <laughs> I'll bring it back. See Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Uh, 
those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. Gonna have to think of another way to get rid of them. We'll get away. Whoa! You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? What did he say? He called your mom Master. a big rat. What are you talking about, my brother? You big monkey in a cheap suit? You think, oh, you think you're a big man? I'm a bigger man. Ah, you just know? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> monkey, <laughs> I'm talking to you, you, you big ape. What are you saying about my money? You, no, you. Get filed with me, my little friend. And you, do you know who I am? Uh oh, fight's breaking out. <laughs> ah, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! No way. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Ah, uh, we kicked their butts. short It might be a trap. I'd better be careful. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it, slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. The 
the match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. I guess I don't really have any choice.
Thank <laughs> you. 